Hey guys, hello and welcome to Summer 2020 College Algebra. I hope you're doing well on this Memorial Weekend. I am actually in South Louisiana. I'm from a town called Homa, which is south of, excuse me, southwest of New Orleans. And I'm here right now helping take care of my elderly mother. My sister usually does it, but I thought I'd come here and give her a break. So that is where I am. And uh, while I'm here, I got sick. I've been sick for the past four days, had to go to urgent care. I've got some weird throat infection um, and I'm looking pretty rough. Normally I'd put the camera on me, but today is not the day you want to see your teacher. But anyway, I wanted to tell you a little bit about me and what to expect in the class. Uh, so um, I'm from South Louisiana, a place called Homa, as I mentioned earlier, um, but live in Little Rock and have been living in Little Rock for 30, oh my gosh, 33 years now. I've been teaching at UALR for 33 years and uh, I've taught online for quite a few years as well. Uh, I look forward to working with you this semester and if you ever need anything, please email me at my UALR email address you should already have it in your uh, UALR email account, um, and you can just reply to, uh, not reply, but actually email me any questions you have. So here is the, what you'll see when you get into Blackboard. In my initial email, I sent you several documents, several pieces of information to help you get familiar with the course and get started. So let me just quickly pull those up. Okay, so uh, the first thing I sent you was the syllabus. Please read through that completely. It gives you all the information about the course, testing, policies, procedures. Please read through that carefully. Uh, and you can find my email address right there on the top of your syllabus. I also sent you a calendar of how we're gonna proceed through the course. And this first page is just at a glance what's going to be happening every day, when assignments are due. Uh, this just gives you an overview of the semester, this very short five-week semester. And then if you scroll down, what you'll see is a detailed daily, weekly type calendar. Um, and so Tuesday, when classes begin, I've given you all the information that you need to uh, have a successful start in the course. And then each day, I've kind of mapped out what you should be doing. And you, wanna, you want to refer to this calendar daily so you don't miss any assignments and you can stay on track. The minute you get behind, it's very difficult to get caught up. So I want you to stay on track. So always refer to this calendar so you'll know, well, what do I need to be doing today? Uh, you can see I've highlighted when the homework assignments are due, I've given you some great tips for success from myself and from previous students. And so you will see how each week is mapped out, detailing what you should be doing in the course. Again, my goal is to help you stay on track. I also sent you a document on how to get started. And so follow the directions and get through these, how many, seven tasks, and you will have an a successful start for the semester. Make sure you read through the syllabus. If you've never taken an online course, these are some great resources. Uh, register with WebAssign, and actually I sent how to do that, one of my documents in my email, uh, lines out how to get registered in WebAssign. So get registered in that, uh, get all your documents together. If you like to print them off and put them in a binder, uh, do so. And then you'll also print some note sheets and I'll show you how you'll access those and access the videos for the course. If at any time you have a question about the course or need help with something, let me know. I am happy to help. Just email me. I'm also happy to do individual Zoom meetings with you if you want us to work in real time, one-on-one, -on, -one, on some questions you may have. But I am available to help you, so 
if you take a look at my calendar, one of the comments, a successful tip from one of my students was, don't be afraid to ask your professor questions. So take that to heart. I am willing to help you. Okay, so you're going to get registered in WebAssign, and in WebAssign is where you're going to complete your homework, your quizzes, and tests. So let's go back to Blackboard. So in Blackboard, what you'll have is getting started in the course, which um, you will see this actual video is going to be posted right here. Then we've got the tasks for a successful start. Those are the tasks you should complete on Tuesday, the first day of class. I've also posted the syllabus here, the calendar, and the registration instructions for WebAssign. So once you take care of those uh, seven tasks, then you're ready to begin the, the work in the course. So um, let's see, what do I have here? Documents for the course. Oh, same thing. I've posted those documents for you. Okay, so what you would do first is go to the note sheets for the course and open up section 2.1 note sheet and you'll see that right here. Now you can download it to com your computer and if you have a computer you can write on, then as you watch my videos you can write on these note sheets. If you prefer printed versions, you can print them out and then write on them <coughs> right on your printed note sheets as you watch the videos. Okay, so I have section 2.1 note sheet. Let's suppose I print it off and I have it right here next to me. Then what I would do is after I have that note sheet available to me, I would go, <coughs> excuse me, sorry about that. I would go to the lecture videos tab and I would go to the chapter two lecture videos and I would go to the section 2.1 lecture videos and I would begin to watch the video videos for section 2.1. Welcome to College Algebra. Let's get started in our work with functions for the semester with linear equations. So, okay, so I'm not real happy with the way the audio worked on that because I'm using some headphones and it seems a little choppy. I'll have to work on fixing that for my next videos, but you'd have your note sheet available. This should be a review. And what I'd want you to do is watch my video, take notes as you're watching the video, take notes on your note sheets, whether you printed them off or have them on your computer. So you've got your note sheet, you're gonna watch my video. When that video is done, go back and Watch the second video for that section. And these videos go directly with the note sheets. So once you've completed, <coughs> excuse me, once you've completed watching those videos and you have your note sheets filled out, then you're ready to go to the WebAssign course. So when you go to your WebAssign course, you'll see something like this. You are now ready to work on the homework assignment. So you've watched the videos, you've got your notes, you can use those notes as you work through the homework assignments. So make sure you take good notes. So I picked the assignment that I wanted to work on and I would just kind of get started. Let's see, let's just do one. For a line, the ratio of, change, of the change in y to the change in x is called the slope of a line. I would submit my answer, and once I have it submitted, then I would look and I got a green check, so that means I got it correct. Maybe over here, um, I'm asked to estimate the slope of a line. Well, I see that my rise is one, two, three, four, five, six. The rise is six, and the run is one, two, three. Remembering that slope is rise over run, it would be six divided by three. But notice that from this six, to get from this six to this three, I had to go 
down six units and to the right three units. That gives me a negative slope. So I would type in negative two as my slope. I would submit my answer. And yes, I got it correct. Um, if you need some help, you can do the read it, which will put you into the textbook for that particular section and you'll get some information on how to work through or how to um, how to answer that particular question. So from section 2.1 you could go and access the book or you can access a video. So right here Estimate the slope of the line. The slope is the rise over the run. So you have that resource available to you as you're working through the homework assignments. Okay, so let me go back to my home. And now, here in WebAssign, I wanna point out some resources to, that you have available to you. Here under resources, there's your textbook. So if at any time you wanna go and reference your textbook, uh, Right here is where you can do that, and you can also look at their lecture videos. So my lecture videos that I did are in Blackboard. These are the lecture videos that come from the publisher. Over here on the right-hand side, there are some other videos that you can access, and another way to access the textbook would be to click that textbook there at the bottom, Then you can pull up a chapter and you can begin to look at section 2.1, basically where you were taken in the homework assignment when you clicked uh, read it. Uh, so I can go into my textbook. Here is a particular thing <coughs> I want to show you when you get into the textbook. And I actually want you to bookmark this on your browser. Let me get there and find it. It's right at the end. Okay, where we have the exercises for a particular section. I want you to find calcview.com and I want you to bookmark this on your browser. <coughs> Bookmarking option on your browser because this particular um, URL has some excellent videos that you might want to watch as, you, uh, as a supplement to the videos I did um, and a supplement to the other videos in the textbook. So I would go and pick a chapter, section one, and they've got a few videos, but I would maybe click this one. And these are a little more dynamic than the previous videos that are accessed in the textbook. Hi, my name is Jeff. Hi, Jeff. In this problem, we're going to find the uh, slope and the y-intercept, if possible, of the given line y equals. Okay, so these are a little more dynamic than the other ones that use a chalkboard, uh, but you could access these um, and view it. I think it's Jeff again. Hi, my name is Jeff. Hello, Jeff again. In this problem, we're going to find the slope of a line passing through a pair of... Okay, so um, those are just some great resources. So remember how we got there. We scrolled down to the bottom, clicked the textbook, found the exercises, and picked the calc view. Well, all right, there we go. And when you click Calc View, be sure to bookmark that site so you won't have to always go down to the bottom of the page. You can just click uh, on that uh, website that you bookmarked to get to these videos. And again, I think these are just a little more dynamic than the other ones. So in WebAssign, you will work through the assignments, work through the quizzes, and work through the tests. And this is what your home page would look like in WebAssign. I think I've kind of covered the basics for getting started 
um, and what to expect in the course. Your calendar shows you all the information that we'll be covering this semester and the timeline involved. So I will stop this video with this, but I will continue to say if you have a question about anything regarding this course, please contact me and I am happy to answer any questions. However, make sure you read through all the documents in the course before you email me because if the answer to your question is contained within those initial documents, I will go, I will answer your email and say, please go and read the, uh, the initial documents for the course. Uh, so that's all. I look forward to a great semester with you and enjoy the rest of your holiday weekend.